Hello! Today, we are going to create facial rig sliders and controls. Some animators don't want to animate the face of characters by tweaking every single bones assigned to different parts of the face to create facial expressions. Also, it is complicated to fix animations after made some adjustments to facial bones. They prefer to use object sliders and controls instead. With these sliders and control, it is easy for them to create a library of facial expressions. Here, you can see a character made by me a long time ago in Maya. I imported it here in Blender and made some adjustments to the looks. I already created Rigify to the character. I created the post and post test in post library for me to reset the bones after I made some adjustment. In this video, we will tackle 1. Creating slider controls 2. Blend shapes by adjusting facial bones 3. Assigning driver to each slider control Let's get started. Let me first organize some layers. I will move the character in a collection so that it is easy to hide or show the character and its component. We are going to create slider control for the mouth. Click Shift plus S to place the cursor in the region. Add the plane by clicking Shift plus A. Go to plane setting window and rotate in x direction by typing 90 degrees so that the plane is facing toward us. While the plane is selected, go to edit mode and delete only faces. You will notice only points and edges are left and this is what we need. Exit the edit mode and go to object mode. Add an empty circle and scale it down. We wanted to move it around inside the plane. Then we have to apply all transformation to delta. So that the rotation, scale and location will set to zero. Select the plane and apply all transformation to delta 2. Now select the circle and shift select the plane and set parent to object. Skip transformation. Check the relationship line so that we can see the guideline while we move around the circle inside the plane. But it's not really important anyway. Now we have to limit the location of circle so it will not go far beyond the plane. We have to apply constraint called limit location. We can set the maximum and minimum to x and z axis. In minimum x, type negative 1 meter. And 1 meter to maximum. Now let's check it to the viewport by moving the circle. There you go, it works. Do the same in Z axis. And test it again.
reset the circle to center by typing 0 to transformation parameter. Okay, we can set also to Y axis by checking minimum and maximum so that we cannot accidentally drag the circle somewhere else. And don't forget to change the owner from world to local space. By this, when you move the circle, it will calculate the translation according to space of the plane. Try to move it again. That's it. We're done making slider control. Now, scale down the plane and move it above the character. Rename the plane and the circle to whatever name you like. As long as it's easy for you to remember and organize the objects as well. Select the box control, right click and select hierarchy. Click shift plus D to duplicate the slider. Drag it somewhere. Then select the box control point zero zero one and press tab in keyboard to go to edit mode. We will modify it to slim slider for eye control. Scale it to X axis. Select the circle and move it along Y axis. We don't need to move it to X axis, so we are going to lock it. In the limit location setting, type 0 to maximum X and minimum X. Okay, that's good. Rename it whatever name you want. We have to duplicate it for eyebrow slider. Select slider control 1 and right click. Select hierarchy. Move it somewhere. Repeat the process to make a four sliders. Create text to label each slider. There you go, we are done creating sliders. Next step is we're going to create blend shapes that we will control by sliders.